All right, y'all already know. So I know this story been buzzing for a while. The Drake, Kendrick Lamar beef and it, it went to an entire another level so drake ended up suing universal music group the parent company of his republic records basically saying that they artificially boosted the his song not like us kendrick lamar is not like us y'all know that drake came out with family matters kendrick came out with not like us which became a hit out of nowhere and it kind of i don't want to say it was the it was the death blow to drake in america but it definitely changed a lot of people's opinions so now he apparently he's taking this to the courtroom saying that uh you know they y'all basically y'all out y'all out against me i'm paraphrasing per rolling stone magazine now i don't know it, how much this will be able to hold up in court U umg is a multi-billion dollar you know they got lawyers on retention that's even more expensive than drake's lawyers and just overall man <laughs> this make drake look real bad this is completely corny lame and that's what people been saying about drake for a long time i personally was a fan of drake especially in the the 2010s i have no problem with the music he was making but dude it's okay man you lost man you lost in the rap beef it's okay it happens what about when you was going in on meek mill and you know it took a couple of years for meek mill to come out of that he pretty much had to reinvent himself and get more into the uh, the political realm you know that's when you started seeing him hang out with the michael rubens and the robert crafts and and, and all it and all of that and i remember jay-z helped him with a bid and so it all oh, then I also seen where they said that it didn't went up his kendrick lamar's not like us song soared up 400 percent since drake's filed his court and then also with lil wayne as y'all seen the thumbnail lil wayne kendrick said in the song that basically i used to bump the carter three i held my roly chain proud irony I think my hard work let Lil Wayne down. And all of that came from Lil Wayne saying that he was disappointed with Jay-Z not picking him to perform at the Super Bowl coming up in New Orleans in February. Well, Lil Wayne responded to that and basically said, man, what the F I do? I just be chilling and they still come from my head. Let's not take kindness for weakness. Let this giant sleep. I beg you all, no one really wants destruction, not even me but I shall destroy if disturbed on me, love. Also, according to Joe Budden, Lil Wayne tried to reach out to Kendrick, but uh, Kendrick never responded. Man, look, it's all looking bad. It's all looking bad for the uh, the former cash money artist, should I say. Drake's looking bad. Wayne, man, I understand that you hurt and you might have thought for whatever reason you was going to perform at a Super Bowl, but just like how y'all can see in this picture, that the NFL, they're not going to let you go up there with a blunt in your mouth, man. You're not as hot as as they will want you to be to perform. Not saying that you're not a legendary artist. I'm just saying at this current moment. And also, do you really have any commercial songs you can play? The Super Bowl is a family show, man. Dude, they can, the NFL they don't want they don't want juvenile them, the Turk them to go up there. The black is hot. The black is hot. <laughs> you know, everybody get your roll on. Everybody get your roll on. Everybody get you. no man. They got Coca Cola gonna probably be there. Pepsi gonna be there. American Express and I mean Wells Fargo. All these different billion dollar companies are going to be there. It's just a big corporate show off. The Super Bowl. So I'm sorry, Wayne man. I'm not saying that you're not a legendary artist and maybe you should do your own concert or maybe Louisiana should be pushed up. It should have been pushed up to the Super Bowl weekend or somewhere around that time. And I wouldn't, you know, no problem with that, but you're just not a commercial guy for the NFL. And people were so mad at Jay-Z. And I'm like, listen, Jay-Z don't own the NFL. They're owned by 30-something owners. All thing Jay-Z do is go get the artist. He go to the NFL, the NFL say yay or nay. So yeah, you know, they're going to come up with commercials. What? Who's done it so far? Rihanna, Usher. I can't remember. Maybe those are the only two artists that jay's been a part of if y'all know any more uh drop it below but you see these are our commercial people oh if he had 50 mary j eminem dr dre come i think that was the first year in la but these were these are commercial people kendrick came out and you see they they wasn't up there playing uh super explicit music that hell snoop said that they damn near didn't even want him wearing blue a blue outfit up there so i'm sorry wayne man and then even like i said when it come back to drake man i'm dude man you really suing this man because you lost the rap battle just get hot again all you gotta do man is just get hot but whatever man it's just it just lets you drake is really he's really a sensitive dude man <laughs> But I just want to give my quick thoughts about all of this. Tell me what y'all think. Whose side y'all on? Do y'all think that Wayne would actually get Kendrick in a song? I don't think so. Or do y'all think that Drake is wrong? Kendrick's wrong? Wayne is wrong? Let me know below.